let's make the character controller with the new input system in Unity. In my previous videos, you could realize that the player was controlled by a rigid body component. This component, however, isn't the best solution if you want your player to be moved up the slopes, simply because it pulls all the mass and makes your player jump and float in the air. We don't want that. We want to fix it. But how? For this reason, you should remove the rigid body component and add a character controller. But that is not the only thing you should do. The character controller is still not part of the script. Whenever you see the use of rigid body in your player script, you need to change it. First, you should introduce the character controller. You should also put it into void awake when it says get component. The fastest and easiest way is to apply gravity because we need gravity if we want our player to jump. First, define it as a private float, gravity, and set it to be approximately like planet Earth's gravity, which is 9.81. But Unity's y-axis is negative. After gravity, you need the velocity, because there is no predefined velocity in the character controller. It is important because you want your player to jump, and it has to have some velocity. But the velocity is a vector tree, not a float. I will show you what will happen if you type float. You need to import it into onJump, which is part of your new input system. If the context is performed along with the isGrounded value becoming true, you should define these lines of code. Float jump velocity. I will call it jump well. Math square root. Jump speed. We define the jump speed and multiply with negative 2. And another thing is gravity, because it has to be multiplied with gravity and the jump speed. You can also write this 981 but I would recommend you to put gravity. And the next line is velocity dot y. The y velocity is the jump velocity. But no, it can't be a float. You must find it as a vector tree, just like the force direction of the player. And I have renamed it to player velocity. Player velocity y is jump velocity. And you are not done yet. I will show you just one more thing to add. Apply the gravity in the fixed update. Is grounded and player velocity should be less than zero and then the y player velocity is zero f. I forgot to tell you because that's the line of code that I added before. Player velocity dot y plus equal gravity multiplied with time dot delta time con which is the character controller and move vector tree motion multiplied with time dot delta time in my case that will be player velocity and another thing that you need on controller collider hit Controller Collider Hit is called Hit. You need this line of code because you need to detect if your player touches the ground. In this case, is grounded normal becomes larger than 0.9f, which is the way how the player reacts if it hits the ground. Now you should save your script and test it in Unity. I'm lucky to see how the player jumps. The only one more thing is because I want to try it on my phone. I made something special to try this game on my phone. I used the jump button, enlarged it and set the transparency to zero. Then I plugged my smartphone to test and see how it works. 
this component makes it easier for your player to navigate up the slopes and makes the movement in general easier, especially if you have a player model, which will be explained in the future videos. <laughs> Support me on social networks. Stay tuned to the new updates from the creator of Cosmobot.